What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today you guys are in for a treat because today we're talking about this guy right here. So this is the card that I posted up on YouTube uh, just yesterday asking what you guys thought this was. So here's our reveal as well as we're going to do a video on taking a look at the hash rate and uh, the watt consumption and what it's most profitable on. But today guys, we are taking a look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2060 Super. So I feel very fortunate to get my hands on this card and uh, don't see the Supers as much and as often. Uh, but if you guys are interested on the exact number here, it is the GVN206S Gaming Overclocked 8GC. So uh, this guy actually was in really good condition. Uh, I did go ahead and replace the pads and also the paste on this. As soon as I got it, cleaned it out. Uh, it was actually much cleaner than I expected. Uh, it does have a six pin as well as an eight pin for power. So a decent amount versus a lot of the other cards that I had um, currently. But the reason I picked up this card, one was because of availability and two is because I needed a number six card for my six GPU uh, build that is coming up later this week. Um, that, and I'll talk about it in that build, but we have a 10, 7, three 1070 Ti's here. Um, and then we actually have a fourth 1070 Ti, but it's the EVGA, it's a beast. And then finally, an RTX 2060 Founders Edition as well. Um, so all of these are going to be put into a build later this week. And it's actually gonna be used to heat a spare bedroom in my house. Um, so the wife was like, hey, it's getting too cold in here. We don't have heat or air conditioning in a room above our garage. So our solution now is we build a mining rig. But let's go back to talking about our 2060 Super. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out today. We're gonna look at the hash rate. We're gonna look at the watts at the wall. I do have a kilowatt meter here. I highly recommend it uh, when you guys are trying to determine your profitability, what to mine, um, your cost per day. You really need to know the true watts at the wall. So make sure you grab one of these. I'll put a link down below if you haven't already. Uh, so. Our next step is to go ahead and get a GPU hanger on this. If you guys haven't seen, I have three of them right here. Uh, these are the Hobbyist Miner uh, GPU hangers. They have, see if I can see it there at the bottom, it says the Hobbyist Miner there. And then at the top, you have the Hobbyist Miner logo. Um, so these are 3D printed, uh, not by me, not sold by me. Just has my branding on it, uh, but this is sold by the crew over at uh, Misfits Mining. So I'll put a link down below to these if you guys are interested in picking these up. But let's go ahead and get one installed. Let's go with the blue one today. Alrighty, our hanger is installed, looking good, all set. So let's go ahead and take a look in our mining room here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this up here for right now. And here's our test bench up and running. Uh, we are running off of a single 500 watt power supply uh, for today's uh, testing. We have our GPU riser already plugged in and it is up and idle right now. So I wanted to show you guys our watts. We're about 20 watts right now, we'll say. We'll round it up. So this rig right now uses 20 watts. So we're gonna subtract that off of our, our watts when we are mining at the wall to give us true wattage for our GPU. So let me go ahead and get this card installed in three, two, and one. Okay, there we have it. We're all set up and good to go. If you guys haven't seen these GPU hangers before, this is kind of how it works. So this is a lot bigger so that it could, it could kind of be universal on different rack sizes. It hooks on, it ain't going anywhere, uh, nice and secure. Has a screw as well that goes through the GPU. Uh, but we have our riser installed. This is uh, the GPU riser, it's the eight capacitor riser. We have a Y splitter coming off of our eight pin PCI, and we have a six pin going into the riser. We have an eight pin going into our card, as well as we have a second, I know it's a little bit of a mess, a second, uh, six pin PCI going into the card as well. So let's go ahead, turned on our power supply, and there we go. We are up and running and good to go. So let me go ahead and jump over to Hive OS and we'll go ahead and see what this is doing stock and get some numbers calculated out for hash rate and for profitability.
Okay, so we're over in HiveOS currently right now. Uh, you can see here that we are mining with the GeForce RTX 2060 Super. So this is Micron memory, uh, GDDR6. And uh, currently we have no flight sheet installed at all so far. So let me go ahead. I have a flight sheet prepped and ready to go here. Uh, Ethereum, test rig, Ethereum, T-Rex, perfect. So let's go ahead. We're going to apply an Ethereum flight sheet to this. Now, if I go ahead and go over to what to mine, uh, there isn't actually a 2060 as an option, by a default option to look at. Uh, if we come up here and take a look, there's a 2060 and a 2070, uh, but there's no 2060 super. So let's take a look at the 2060 and then we'll take a look at another website here. So at a regular 2060, uh, this is saying that uh, at 10 cents kilowatt uh, for our power, that we are at 30 mega hash at 120 watts. So if I hit calculate there, that's going to come back and tell us that Ethereum currently right now on a 2060 is uh, now we're looking at a 24 hour profitability. It two dollars and thirty two cents on Ethereum uh, is where that puts us at. If we stretch this out to a seven day profitability and hit calculate, Flux is actually up there with how well it's been doing recently. Uh, but we're above two dollars if it was a 2060. But the 2060 and the 2060 Super are totally different cards. If we go ahead up top here. We go over to Cryptex. This is another really good website. I'll link it to you guys. And we go down to the 2060 Super. They're putting the 2060 Super on Ethereum at 44.3 mega hash. That's 14 mega hash higher than a 2060. That puts it on a whole nother plane. Uh, it puts it, let's see here, on Ravencoin at 20 mega hash. Uh, which is great. Like it, it's a decent, decent card. And that's one of the reasons why I was so excited to kind of have this as the flagship GPU in our flux rig. So let's jump back. Take a look at Hive OS. Okay, so on stock hash hashing here, we are currently at 37.24 mega hash on Ethereum. We haven't gone crazy. We haven't done anything. This is just stock, guys. And you can see that we're at 163 watts. So let's go ahead over and look at the wall and see what this is actually doing at the wall versus the software because HiveOS does not do a really good job of providing accurate power consumption. So let's jump over to the camera. All right, so at the wall right now, we are at 218, 220. Okay, we'll say 220, that makes it easy for our math. So what that tells us is that this card right now, stock with no overclock settings, is currently running at 37 mega hash, but at 200 watts, which is crazy. So let's jump back to the computer and let's get some overclock settings in place. It's been a few minutes. We played around with some overclock settings, but we're looking pretty good. So that 44 estimate uh, on Cryptex was pretty close. Right now we're at 43.8 mega hash and with some fine tuning, we could definitely get up to the 44 mark, but we're at 1100 core, 2000 memory and 125 power limit. So with that power limit in place, let's go ahead and jump over to our kilowatt meter and let's see what type of power consumption we're seeing at the wall. Okay, so at 43 mega hash now, overclocked on Ethereum, we're at 141, so we'll say 140. Oh, actually I bumped up a little bit there. 142, 141. Okay, so we'll say 141 there. So 141 minus 142, oh my gosh, come on. 142 minus the 20 is 122. So 122 at, thir at 43, mega hash is pretty dang good so 43.8 mega hash at 122 watts that's pretty pretty decent i'm actually really happy with this so let's go over to what's a mine and let's punch in some numbers here so we'll put in our 2060 to start with um to kind of see you know to kind of give us an idea 
uh, as to some options here. So we'll go ahead, 43.80 and 122 watts. And we'll put in 10 cent, uh, 10 cents there. I'm not, mine's actually cheaper, uh, but we'll start with that for now. Is that's nor that's the that's the average uh, for a lot of people out there. Let's hit calculate. So uh, let me swap this actually to 24 hour profitability, a little bit more accurate. Okay, perfect. So this card currently, right now on Ethereum, is doing three point three dollars and fifty two cents per day. That is, guys, that's ridiculous. That's really, for one card, that's really good. So $3.84 per day revenue, 29 cents of electricity cost at $3.55. So now let's go back here. And uh, my next step, just because of the fact that we all know how well Flux has been doing within the last three days, um, is I want to go ahead and put in some more accurate numbers um, for Flux, and let's see how Flux does. I really want to see what which one's more profitable, Ethereum or Flux right now. So give me a minute to get some overclock settings in place to nail down my watts, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, let's talk about Flux. So Flux operates on Souls versus Mega Hash. So uh, right now, our overclock settings, I spent a ton of time on overclocking this, um, because I, I wanted to go ahead and see about locking the core clock and see if that would give me a little more consistency uh, versus something like I've tried like 150 and like 750 uh, memory clock uh, just to see how we did there. But locking in the core clock seemed to do really well with flux. So I went with 1845 for my uh, core, 7175 for my memory. I know crazy. And then our power limit at 150. That puts us at 50.71 souls. Now, at the wall, we're definitely, it definitely is burning more um, electricity. We're at 194, but we have to subtract 20 from that. So we're at 174. So let's go over to what to mine, and we're going to put in 50 point, what was it? 50.71, and then we're at 174. So this looks going to give us a, this is going to give you true numbers when it comes not only to your hash rate, but then also to your watts to determine your profitability. If you're making financial decisions based off of what Hiva West tells you is what you're using, I'm concerned. You really need to pick up one of those kilowatt meters. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start out on the profitability of a seven day. Let's go ahead and hit calculate. Okay, so on a seven day here, it puts us at $2.82 on Flux, but $3.52 on Ethereum. Um, now that's sort by seven day. Let's go ahead and do the current difficulty there. Um, and we'll do current profit. There we go. Okay, so this is a little bit better. So this is showing current difficulty. So at the current moment, this card on Ethereum is making $3.42 but on Flux, it's making $3.73. I'm thrilled about that because literally tomorrow, I'm building that six GPU rig and it's going to be entirely dedicated to Flux on those 1070s, the 2060 and this 2060 Super. So I've been planning this for several weeks now. We just hit the Flux bubble and it took off, but this is important. This is the stuff that you really got to look at to see what direction you go with a card and where your profitability is and also what your cost is i mean to run this card it's 42 cents a day you gotta you gotta calculate that in in the grand scheme of things so overall i'm super happy with my purchase of the gigabyte geforce rtx 2060 super 50.71 souls at 174 watts. That's gonna go ahead and wrap things up for today, guys. I appreciate you guys joining me to go ahead and take a look at the Gigabyte 2060 Super. I'm super thrilled. This is a huge win-win. I mean, 43 mega hash on Ethereum, 50 souls on Flux. This is a phenomenal card. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.